People forget that I had beef with an NFL quarterback. That's right. Last year Lions QB Jared Goff disrespected King Clarence on a Detroit morning radio show and well, take a fluff and listen. Well, I've been caught up with the uh, all the, the talking dogs. I don't know if you've seen King Clarence, the Black Lab. they got some Frenchie named Apollo. <laughs> There's Zoe the Fat Cat. I, I can't those. get enough of the animals. They're the best. I haven't seen those. All right, man. Well, hey, good luck on Sunday. It can you believe that bullshit? Jared freaking Goff tried to act like he had never heard of the most famous black Labrador on the internet? Well, I made a video reminding Mr. NFL star QB that I've dealt with great Danes at doggy daycare that would make most football players look like big pussy cats. And within minutes of posting the video, the Detroit Lions were in my comment section begging for forgiveness. And then thankfully, Jared Goff also apologized and we squashed the beef. And what do you know? Ever since then, Goff and the Lions have a record of 14-5 and five and are playing in the NFC Championship this weekend. Many are saying King C is solely responsible for their turnaround, but as a humble canine from champion bloodlines, I would never take full credit. But with that being said, you're welcome, Jared. And I'm rooting for you this Sunday, buddy.